Hey folks, welcome to the Daily Dude. Today we've got three very interesting videos about biochar. As usual, let's start out with two random facts about you today. Another random fact you may not know about me is my first job was in Las Vegas at a casino. I was not older, I was 16 years old, and uh, MGM Grand in Las Vegas had, and I don't know if they still do or not, but they had a theme park in the back. And they had a pizza shop in the theme park, and my first job was at the pizza shop in the theme park of the MGM Grand. So, it wasn't quite in the casino, but you know what I mean, it was part of the whole casino thing, so. First job. For more about the fundamental home, take a look at the link to their channel and 30 random facts video below. And our next random fact comes from in the kitchen at Hilltop Farm down in Australia. Um, I got a speeding fine uh, racing to the hospital um, when my wife was in labor with our second daughter. Um, she'd gone in uh, to to have a, an elective caesarean and she was admitted the day before and I got a phone call in the early hours of the morning to say she'd gone into labour and to come in and while racing there I got pulled over by uh, police and he didn't believe my story so he followed me to the hospital and gave me a ticket once I got there. Okay. Today's three videos come from Baker's Green Acres, Mark over there, and yesterday in the Pratt Family Homestead video, that is where Mike and Jenny got some of their pigs from, the Manga Litsis. Well, Baker's Green Acres also does pastured poultry and uh, in addition to the pigs, and they've also got gardens. Anyway, it, it's a great channel, and they've been talking about biochar recently. And it caught my attention because I had heard of biochar previously. You hear about using it uh, to benefit compost and to benefit soil. The theory goes it's part of the natural cycle uh, of what builds soil without human intervention. Lightning strikes, we hear about natural forest fires and natural fires all the time. Well, that would rip through an area, burn all of the organic matter, and leave behind, in the case of wood, it would leave behind biochar. And that biochar would help feed the soil and help rejuvenate it and bring it back to life. So a lot of permaculture uh, studies have been done and they like using it in their compost. But what I found really interesting from Baker's Green Acres is that he is using it with his animals and with some demonstrated success. So let's head out to Baker's Green Acres and learn more about biochar with chickens and pigs. Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. And today uh, is going to be our very first biochar burn of the year. Um, let's see, where do I begin with biochar? If you don't know what it is, it's pretty much charcoal that's made in an oxygen depleted environment. Making biochar from start to finish is a great intro on how to make your own biochar. And in the next video, Pastured Poultry 2017 season, he goes in depth on how to use biochar with chickens. I found out about it quite accidentally that it was the cure for coccidiosis. And now we use it as a prevention measure. And you might be saying, how are you going to feed biochar to a bunch of chickens? So I give them a little bit every day, or Rachel does, and I just thought it would be fun for you to watch this happen. i got a handful of it, and I'm going to just give it to them right like this. Just put it right on top of their... And I'll watch them eat it. And in our last video, Adventures with Biochar, A Farmer's Life, we learn about how he uses biochar with his pigs. 
But where I have the pigs, I can just take it out, feed it directly to them. They'll crunch it up, so they'll do the milling. They'll pass it through their <coughs> digestive system, which will inoculate it, and then they'll spread it. And they'll spread it, you know, wherever they dump, wherever they manure, they will spread that. So I have, I'm going to be putting down really, really nice inoculated compost. Um, it's gross, but I, I will do this. I will collect up some of their manures, and I'll show them to you. They look like they've been drinking motor oil. Their manures are dark, 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 even black. Sometimes they look just black. So there you go. That's a good intro. If you want to learn more, head on over to Baker's Green Acres with these three videos. And it makes total sense to me that the biochar would be effective at uh, like preventing diseases in chickens. We, I have some experience with, uh, with using charcoal filtration and what, uh, for air filters. And what it does is charcoal has, with all the little uh, pockets inside of it and the attractive measures it has, it will, it will absorb and hold uh, gases and uh, things that, that we don't want in our air. A lot of like such uh, hospitals will use it uh, to remove, remove fumes that may come in from their you know trucks parked outside or their loading dock or and, you know the helicopter that lands on their roof they will use charcoal filters to help keep those fumes from uh, invading the inside space of the hospital and there's a lot of uh, other uses for it also as far as air filtration goes. So I've, I've known about uh, charcoal and I've also known that charcoal is when humans take poisons sometimes they want you to eat a bunch of charcoal and the theory behind that is the charcoal is going to absorb those toxins uh, to take them out of your system. So when I saw that he's using the biochar with success on his pastured poultry, I just thought, yeah, that makes sense. And apparently it's working for him, and now he's using it with his pigs also, and that's just a, just a fascinating subject area. So if you want to learn more about that, I think you should. Biochar has some some great benefits. It's it's not an expensive endeavor to get started in, and it may just improve your uh, your homestead. Okay, random fact number. What are we at? 18, 19, I, uh, somewhere in there. Yesterday was I graduated with a business administration degree, and uh, today we learn about my farming experience. The summer after my junior year of college, I went back home, I took some summer school classes at a community college, and one of my buddies there, his grandparents had a bunch of acres, and they had retired from farming. So what they were doing is they were renting out the farmland to another farmer, and then they were also renting out the farmhouse, uh, just that little area, to, uh, to somebody else. So. He was, he decided he's going to get into farming and he drug me along with him for part of the ride, him and his girlfriend. So we had, uh, around the house it was about three acres with just your typical, the farmhouse, the barn, the, the shop, you know, and all the, all the stuff that a lot of you homesteaders wish you had. And then we sectioned off some of the former corn and soybean fields surrounding the house also. The idea there was to set up a market garden to sell the farmers markets, uh, to have goats, um, milk goats to produce uh, goat cheese, and to do pigs, and also uh, laying laying hens, chickens. So there were I don't want to. That's a whole long story in my life, but uh, the, we had leghorns. We had I don't know, probably over 120. Leghorns that he had 120 leghorns at one point. I, it's it was his operation. I might have treated it a little bit differently if I was more heavily involved, but it it was his. So I was just a helper. Um, so I, I started doing that the summer after my junior year. I went back for my senior year of college, and when I graduated, I I came back and you know I was not working at you know some great job straight out of college like they all want you to believe you're going to get. Instead I started working third shift at a local hotel 
and then during the day I'd be helping out my buddy on his farm and so I did that for a little over a year after co college graduation and then uh, then I had a decision to make whether or not I'd, I'd stick with the hotel or stick with the farming and you'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out. Take care, always use a wind filter.